Okay, here we go. Let's figure out how to do this learning together. Distance learning, day one. English 910 Esau with Miss Heiberg, Annandale High School. So, hi, welcome everybody. I'm so glad to see you, and I wish I could see you in person. Um, we're going to go over how to do today's lesson, okay? So, if you look at my screen here, you can see first we're going to do a little bit of translating. So, welcome back to school. Bienvenido de nuevo el, al colegio. Uh, Annandale High School, and let's do it in Vietnamese for Phu. Chào mừng trở lại trường. Okay. Um, so there are certain things you want to do every day for our school. Okay. So every day for distance learning. I want you to go to Google Classroom. Our English class will have one lesson each day for four days. Mỗi ngày để học từ xa, tôi muốn bạn đến Google Classroom, lớp học tiếng Anh của chúng tôi sẽ có một bài học mỗi ngày trong bốn ngày. Todos los días para la educación a distancia, quiero que vayas a Google Classroom. Nuestra clase de inglés tendrá una lección cada día durante cuatro días. Ok? Um, next, I want you to know that if you have questions, you can contact me in two ways. First, you can email me with our school email. Your email address is your student ID number at fcpsschools.net. Okay, so a continuación, quiero que sepas que si tienes preguntas, puedes con contactarme de dos maneras. Primero, puedes enviarme un correo electrónico con nuestro correo electrónico de la escuela. Su dirección de correo electrónico es su uh, student, estudiante um, ID número, ok, número escuela, right, at fcpsschools.net. Tiếp theo, tôi muốn bạn biết rằng nếu bạn có thắc mắc, bạn có thể liên hệ với tôi theo hai cách đầu tiên. Bạn có thể gửi email cho tôi với email của trường chúng tôi. Địa chỉ email của bạn là studentidnumbera.fcpsscholos.net The second way to reach me is on Facebook. Are you on Facebook? We have a group which I will invite you to. Also, you can message me on Facebook. Look me up. My name is Robin Randall. You can friend request me 
or just message me. Either way is fine. Okay? Cách thứ hai để tiếp cận tôi là trên Facebook. Bạn có trên Facebook không? Chúng tôi có một nhóm mà tôi sẽ mời bạn đến. Ngoài ra bạn có thể nhắn tin cho tôi trên Facebook. Nhìn tôi lên. Tên tôi là Robin Runner 2 bet Bạn có thể yêu cầu bạn hoặc chỉ cần nhắn tin cho tôi. Dù bằng cách nào cũng tốt. La segunda forma de contactarme es on Facebook. ¿Tienes Facebook? Tenemos un grupo al que te invitaré. También puedes enviarme un mensaje en Facebook. Buscame. Mi nombre es Robin Randall Heiberg. Puedes per perdime, per pedirme un amigo o simplemente enviarme un mes mensaje. De cualquier manera está bien. Ok. Now. Um, now let's go to our lesson. Ok. When you go to do your schoolwork. Each day. For English, just go to Google Classroom. Click on Google Classroom and go to the lesson. Ahora vamos a nuestra lesión. Cuando vayas a hacer tu trabajo escolar todos los días para inglés. Solo ve a Google Classroom. Haga clic en Google Classroom y vaya a la lección. Bây giờ chúng ta hãy đi đến bài học của chúng tôi. Khi bạn đi làm việc ở trường mỗi ngày thì tiếng Anh chỉ cần truy cập Google Classroom, nhấp vào Google Classroom và đi đến bài học. Please know that you will have English lessons four days a week. So make sure you do these lessons and hit turn in when you finish. Okay? Hãy biết rằng bạn sẽ có bài học tiếng Anh 4 ngày một tuần. Vì vậy, hãy chắc chắn rằng bạn thực hiện những bài học này và nhấn tên in khi bạn hoàn thành. Ok, and Spanish. Tenga en cuenta que tendrá clases de inglés 4 días a la semana. Así que asegurate de hacer estas lesiones y presiona entregar cuando termines. Es muy importante. ¿Ok? Now we will go to the lesson and I'll show you how to do it. I will only translate small parts. Not everything. Sorry. But I want you to learn English. Right? You want to learn English too. Right? Yes, I know you do. Ahora, ahora iremos a la lesión y te mostraré cómo hacerlo. Solo traduciré partes pequeñas, no todo. Lo siento, pero quiero que aprendas inglés, ¿verdad? Tú también quieres aprender inglés, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Ok, let's do Vietnamese and then we go.
Bây giờ chúng ta sẽ đi đến bài học và tôi sẽ chỉ cho bạn cách làm nó. Tôi sẽ chỉ dịch các phần nhỏ, không phải tất cả mọi thứ. Lấy làm tiếc nhưng tôi muốn bạn học tiếng Anh, phải không? Bạn cũng muốn học tiếng Anh, phải không? Ok, here we go. So, what I want you to do, you go to Google Classroom. You know how to do that, right? Find our class with the school bus. Once you're in Google Classroom, you're going to go to one of three places. You can find our lesson in stream. It's right here. Robin Heiberg posted a new assignment. Lesson, Tuesday, April 14th. Okay. You can also go here to classwork. Mine looks different than yours, but the lesson is right here. Okay. And then we just click on it. Okay. The other way you can do it, again, let's go back here. If we start from my classes, we go to English 9. And instead of going to classwork, um, we can just click here. For me, I have to go to instructions. Here are directions. And then you want to click here. Okay, there's a third way to do it, three. Okay, so that's two. So here's one more way. We go back to English. Look here, we have upcoming due tomorrow. You can just click here. Again, mine looks different. Look, people are writing me. Woohoo! That's great. I like it. I like it. Okay, so you're going to just click here. And here's your lesson. Now, let me show you. So I just showed you three ways to get to your lesson for the day. First, go to the classwork tab at the top. Or second, the second way is to um, look in the stream for the assignment. Finally, the last way is to look at, what is it called? Let's see. Upcoming, okay? Look at upcoming on the left side of the screen. Okay? Tôi chỉ cho bạn ba cách để có được bài học của bạn trong ngày. Đầu tiên, chuyển đến tab Classwork ở trên cùng, hoặc cách thứ hai là tìm trong stream cho bài tập cuối cùng. Cách cuối cùng là nhìn vào thumbnail ở phía bên trái màn hình, được chứ? Ok, in Spanish. Te acabo de mostrar tres formas de llegar a tu lesión del día. Primero. Ve a la pestaña Trabajo en clase en la parte superior. O la segunda forma es buscar en stream la tarea. Finalmente, 
La última forma es mirar próxima, próximamente en el lado izquierdo de la pantalla. pantalla. Bueno, ok, good. Now I will open the lesson and show you what to do. This will be in English only. Ahora abriré la lesión y te mostraré, mostraré qué hacer. Esto será solo en inglés. Bây giờ tôi sẽ mở bài học và chỉ cho bạn phải làm gì. Điều này sẽ chỉ bằng tiếng Anh mặt cười. Ok. So, now let's go over here. Back to our, our Google Classroom. I'm going to do my assignment. I'm just going to go here. Upcoming. Do tomorrow. Ok. Go to lesson for Tuesday, go to instructions and click here. Okay. I'm actually going to use a different one. I'm going to use this one. Okay. So, so you look at it, you can see page one, page two, page three. Okay. Tres papeles. Okay. First, uh, Primero, first, you want to write your name. So my name is Miss Heiberg. Period is, let's say this is R1. You put your period. Today's date, April 14, 20, whoop, 20. Okay. Now let's go down. Introducing routines and expectations. Online learning. What should I be doing? Okay, I want you to see there are three parts. Okay, so part one, introduction. Part two, school routine during distance learning. And then part three. Creating a new routine. Okay. This is an extension. This is optional. It's you do not have to do it. Okay. Just do what you can do. All right. So I have my name. That's all good. What should I be doing? We go here. Part one introduction. Learning target. Oh, you guys know all about learning target, right? Today I will learn about our new routines and expectations for online learning so that I can continue learning in my school. I'll know I've got it when I understand what is expected of me. Okay? Directions. Please read the learning target above. Answer the questions below in complete sentences. So number one, what is our focus today? Highlight the five most important words above in the learning target, and then write your answer here. So highlight the five most important words. So I go up here. Um, well, we always know this is important, right? Today I will. So let's highlight it. I'm going to make it a blue. Today I will. Looks like we're going to talk about routines and expectations. I think that's important. So I'm going to highlight that. OK. Um, I think it's important to continue learning. So I'm going to highlight this. OK. It says to highlight five things. <clears throat> so let's do two more. How about, I'll know I've got it. Because we know that's important. We have to say it every day, right? 
when I understand. Okay, so now we've done the highlighting. Okay, now it says write your answer here in a complete sentence. So I'm going to click here and I like to change my text. Oops, not that one. I'm going to do a fun font. Maybe I'll do, let's see what's here. I'll do this one. I like this one. What is our focus today? Um, our focus is to learn, and I look here, new routines and expectations. That's it. Okay. Number two, what is a routine? Look up the definition here. So now I'm going to click on this link. Okay. Oh, I can just copy it. Go to a new tab. Enter. What does it say? A routine is all of these things. Customary or regular course. Regular, unvarying, habitual, commonplace tasks or chores. I'll just take this one. And I'm just going to copy it, and that is fine. Okay, control C. I go back to my paper, and I will say, and I have to change my font again. Here it is. A routine is a customary or regular course or procedure. Okay, it's fine. Number three, do you have routines you follow every morning when you wake up? Sure, but maybe you don't know what that means. So you take this and we're going to go to Google Translate. Okay, my translate is right here. Tienes rutinas que sigues todas las mañanas cuando te levantas, escribe tu rutina. Okay? So we're going to write our routine here. For me, my routine is every morning I wake up, eat almonds, for breakfast, and then I feed my cat. Okay, that is what I do every day. Okay, now part one is done. So you see, we just finished part one. Part one. Ya ves, acabamos de terminar la parte uno. Okay. Make sure you answer all the questions by typing in your answers. Asegurese de responder todas las preguntas escribiendo sus respuestas. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo puede ver? Acaba. Sorry. Vì vậy, bạn thấy chúng tôi vừa hoàn thành phần y. Hãy chắc chắn rằng bạn trả lời tất cả các câu hỏi bằng cách nhập câu trả lời của bạn. ¿Ok? Now we have two more sections. Part, parts two, part two, and part three. Bây giờ chúng tôi có hai phần nữa, phần hai và phần ba. Okay. Ahora tenemos dos secciones más, parte dos y parte tres. Okay, part two. So, 
school routine during distance learning. Okay, read the schedule below. Click on the links to see the pictures. So breakfast, what do we do for breakfast? What do we do? Let's see. Oh, delicious, right? Yum. Okay, morning fresh air. So it says wake up, eat breakfast. Say good morning. Morning fresh air. We we go for a walk. You go for a walk in the morning? What else do you do? Academic time, Google Classroom. 10 to 12 o'clock. Anyway, so here we go to our teacher, right? For me, ours is this English nine, but maybe you have another teacher that you have to go to. Um, and then in the afternoon, maybe you go outside again. What? Okay. And maybe you have chores to do every day let's see what are our chores you have to clean take care of the baby okay then you have dinner mm, very delicious then we have free time everybody loves free time what <laughs> okay and then the end you go to bed right so tired okay so now here are our questions okay look at the chart above what color are all the activities for eating blue green purple or blue purple green or pink and you write your answer here blah 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 okay Number two, when is academic time? How much is academic time every day? Okay, so look here. We have academic time, no. Um, here, academic time and academic time. So when is it? 10 to 12. And this is how many minutes? Now, it says if you're ready to learn more and you're level two, then you can go on, okay? You don't have to. In part two, there are questions that are for people who know A lot of English. You are level one, so you do not have to do these questions. If you want to try, that is okay. But it is not required. Okay. En la parte 2, hay preguntas para personas que saben mucho inglés. Estás en el nivel 1. Por lo que no tienes que hacer estas preguntas. Si quieres probar, está bien. Pero no es obligatorio. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. Trong phần 2 có những câu hỏi dành cho những người Okay. Part three, creating a new routine for distance learning. So now you want to try to fill this out yourself. You're going to put your times here. And you're going to put your descriptions here. Okay. And that is all you have to do. 
If you want to do one more thing, you do this. Okay? This is optional. Part three, fill in on your own. After that, it says optional. You do not have to do this part. It's only if you want to try. Okay? Phần 3 tự nhiên. Sau đó nói rằng tùy chọn bạn không phải làm phần này chỉ khi bạn muốn thử đồng ý. Parte 3 complete por su cuenta. Después de que dice op opcional, no tienes que hacer esta parte. Es solo si quieres intentarlo. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, good. So now, look, we are finished. Now I wanted you to see what you need to do if, once you're finished. Ok. So we're going to take our document. all done here and I'm going to go back to Google Classroom and in Google Classroom I'm going to go open this ha it's not here I can't show you turn in on my computer because I don't have the button but if you go back you just click on it and you click turn in and then you're finished. It's excellent, right? So let me to show you here. Now that you are done, please go back to Google Classroom and to the assignment. There will be a button that says Turn in. Click on that to turn in your work. Please remember that you only need to work 30 minutes a day on our lessons. Do your best. If it's hard, just try and do what you can. If it's too easy, let me know. Ahora que ha terminado, regrese a Google Classroom y a la tarea. Habrá un botón que dice entregar. Haga clic on eso para entregar su tra trabajo. Okay, it says turn in. Okay. Um, recuerde que solo necesita trabajar 30 minutos al día en nuestras lesiones. Haz tu mejor esfuerzo. Si Es difícil, solo intenta hacer lo que puedas. Si es demasiado fácil, hazmelo saber. ¿Ok? Xin nhớ bạn chỉ cần làm việc 30 phút mỗi ngày cho các bài học của chúng tôi, làm hết sức mình đi, nếu khó chỉ cần cố gắng và làm những gì bạn có thể, điều nó quá dễ dàng cho tôi biết. Ok, so now we are done. We are done for today. Thank you. I'm so glad to see everybody. If you have questions, Go to Facebook or email. Okay, questions, preguntas, Facebook, 
or email. Okay? <laughs> okay, bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios, ciao. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Bye.